What's going on everybody, Weebo here, and welcome back to some more Rogue Tower. So today we're doing all AoE towers, only towers that can hit multiple enemies. Uh, this, like, the encampment, frost tower, flamethrower, poison sprayer, you guys get it. There's a lot of towers that do it, let's get right into it. If you guys are enjoying, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and uh, leave a comment down below what you want to see me do next. Alright, so we do have to start with the ballistas, because, you know, it, it's, it's the first thing you get. Sorry, they're not AoE, but that's okay, we'll delete them later. Oh, uh, let's see, banditry, crosskeep, we'll take banditry, it might be a couple levels before we can actually get started, but should be okay. Take the shredder, because that's good, I will, mm, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till like level 5 or so when we can actually use only those towers. Because the Shredder I don't think is gonna be enough by itself. Probably not. I think we'll do level 5. As long as I can get mana siphons. Mm, take the mortar. If I can get the encampment next, that'll be all I need actually too. I think between the mortar and the shredder, we should be okay. I don't think we need anything else. Okay, this is taking a while. Let's go. Hurry it up. Hmm. Guess we'll take the mana bank. Alright, let's sell all of these. I don't know how much you guys love watching this, so... I'll, I'll let you watch me do it. No problem. Doesn't bother me at all. Alright, put a shredder here. And yeah, and then mortars there and there, there and there, and we'll get this guy up to 30 health. We'll put these on most armor, most armor, and we'll keep those two on progress. And we'll upgrade them. And these guys, and this guy, and the shredder much as I can and that's it all right looks like we're doing good so far here's a mana siphon we'll take that because there's a lot of mana towers that we're gonna need I'll drop another shredder up here Ooh, the encampment I love having that early just so we can get it down in the back and not have to worry so much if stuff slips by and I don't have enough gold perfect all right hmm Take no man's land, I guess. Look at that. There we go. That's an encampment. And we'll just upgrade him a little bit. Just in case. Stiff wants to sneak by. I'm doing pretty good so far. Hmm. Take a frost keep. There we go. And we have mana siphons, so we'll get those down real quick. And then we get a frost keep down. I don't have any other mana towers yet. Sure we will. We should do a bunch of frost keeps. Let's do one there, one there. Oh no, that's a three. Put it on the two. And we'll do one right here. Yeah, right there as well. And give him like two. Oh, I don't have enough money. That's fine. I wonder if we have enough mana. Well, they do. <laughs> the frost keeps actually do a decent amount of damage. I forgot about that. I need to get the poison sprayer. Or the Tesla coil, that'll work. Uh, get him up to 20. Get him up to 20 as well. And you. And we could use a couple more mortars. Oh, I don't have any money. I will soon. Maybe two. Yeah, just to help with this armor. Hmm. Sorcery? Yeah, we'll take sorcery. The mana banks will help out late game. Now we are going to drop a Tesla coil right here. And just put a bunch of shield on him. 
Found the RPM mod is like really good on the Tesla coils too. Ooh, the vampire layer is always fun. Span that way, put the vampire tower right there. Give him a bunch of health. We are gonna struggle a little bit with the mana now, but nothing we can't fix. There's so much to look at. Hmm. Let's take one extra health damage. And I didn't put a mana safe in there. Interesting. We can put some more mortars down. All sorts of places. Just put them on these plus ones. And I might even put another encampment down back here. Hmm. Extra damage to shields. Don't mind if I do. Span this way. We're on level 14. So Oogie okay, comes next wave. Seems like we're doing pretty good. I'm just going to need more mana. Ooh, the poison spray will be nice. All right, mana banks first. Because you guys love the mana banks. I need more sorcery eventually too. There, that should be good for now. And we'll do a poison sprayer here. The poison sprayer here. And put them on. No shield. Not what I meant to do. That is what I meant to do eventually, so. I guess that's fine. Oh, there's another fortress. That's weird. We could put some shredders up here, too. It's interesting. Oh, because nothing else has armor, so it's focusing here. Hmm. Take the sorcery. And what did Oogie give us? Thrashing? Yeah. We need the flame tower. That'd be nice to get. It's like golden forest, I guess. Mm. Let's do one encampment on each of these. Maybe even one up here. And a couple mortars. And then a couple Tesla coils. And a couple frost keeps. Yeah. And we can even put a frost keep up here. Maybe not on the three. We'll put them on the two. And a frost keep back here. Yeah, I think there. Okay, cool. Hopefully we don't run out of mana. That could be an issue. But here's a mana crystal. Looks like we're doing okay so far. Alright, on to level 25. We've got... That's not Oogie. There he is. Oogie Von Oogovich, who's getting absolutely destroyed. I went and dumped a bunch of money into level 40. Well, level 40. Um, vampire Towers, because they just do so much damage. And... Oh, oh, oh. University, thank you. What do we get from this guy? Because of shells. Ooh, hunting grounds. Yes. But yeah, the, the vampire towers just do so much damage, so. Made some really strong vampire towers, and then everything else I've leveled up a little bit, but. Oh, and I've been trying to cover everything in frost keeps. Just to make sure everything's slow all the time. Be, be good, you know? Be good. All right, on to level 30. Oh, let's get this free treasure chest. One damage, damage to health. I I like mortars, so there's a bunch of mortars there. Uh, this vampire tower is now level 69. It does 82 damage to health. And I've put frost keeps on most areas. Mana's doing okay. I haven't got a... Uh, oh, what do they call those? The, the thing you put the... The university zone. The the occult shrine? Yeah. Haven't gotten a cult shrine yet, but I mean 
Maybe we'll take extra poison damage on those. Oh, there it is, finally. But yeah, we've been doing doing pretty good. Let me put some of these down. So we can get that poison damage going out. Um, that's probably good up there. Can we put some more over here? There and there. There. And there. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright, let's take banditry three. And let's get some ooh, free chest. Scholarships, I guess. And I'll put these like down real quick. Well, had to put some more poison and flame towers down, but we're doing uh doing pretty good. Nothing's making it too far. I've got another like uh super vampire tower that I'm working on. He's doing pretty good. But yeah, I think this feels a lot better. Like, way, 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 way stronger than the single target towers. Oh, wow. He doesn't take burn or poison. You know what I've noticed is the AoE towers are mostly damage over time. They don't have the raw damage that single target towers have. Which makes sense. You know. They can if you upgrade them enough, but most of the time they don't. That's interesting. This is super interesting. Well. What do we get? Scholarship. We'll take that. Uh, fortification. And slow cooker. But maybe we need to focus on having some more super towers because if that's the case, that that'll help out. It seems adding well this tower up to a health multiplier of 106 and this one up to 100. It feels like it seems that stuff's not making it as far just from that raw damage, so maybe less of the AoE towers is a better idea. I had to have a lot more single target towers because they would only focus the one thing. So that was interesting. Let's give them some extra for a chance. Hmm. Maybe more bleed on the, uh, the mortars. Why not? But, no, it feels like we're doing a lot better now. Definitely, definitely seems a lot easier and we're gonna bump this guy up to whatever we can hopefully get that extra damage out there oh we're still going and a hundred that's good enough for me uh, let's take why not I'm very happy how these mortars can hit almost everything this is a very good, good map for that, because it's not, I mean it's spread out, but it's not crazy spread out. Hmm. Let's do another one of these super vampire towers. I don't know if you guys like them, but I love them. Uh, keep going. 80, 90, oh 94, that's fine. Take a super chance on them. 41, what is that? SG1? Well, it died. We're starting to lose some mana now, so we're gonna need more mana banks. But it seems like overall this is a not the hardest run we've done. Probably one of the easier ones. Alright, looks like we're doing pretty good. I believe we're on 43. Oh, look, there's a free chest. Yeah, I'll take thrashing. But, yeah, these vampire towers are putting in short work. We have a lot of bleed damage. Not a ton of poison or fire, but... That's because everything pretty much dies before it gets there. Let's take extra damage to armor. And we'll expand again. But, I mean, everything's... <laughs> Not making it very far. Oogie's gonna be hard. So we'll see on that, but. 
It seems like we're in a good spot. I'm, honestly, I think this is probably enough to take on Ogie. What are we on? Level 44? So, yeah, next one will be Ogie, and I don't think I'm going to change anything. We're just going to leave it here and see how it goes. I think it'll be okay. Ooh, we'll take Extra Blast Radius. That is a nice one. We got Big Brain. Not a lot of damage to his shield yet. That's okay. Wow, everything is so loud. There we go. Now we're down to his armor and it's getting melted. And there he goes. That was pretty easy. Alright, what about everything else? Just slowly but surely. Getting destroyed. Well, I mean, it seems like we're doing pretty good. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.